Hi there, it's Kayla here from Amaro's Designs and I wanted to quickly walk you through a technique that I've personally been using for my business and my clients that have made a world of a difference. So just a little backstory as to why I wanted to create a template that had the ability to become interactive. I myself work with clients on a consistent basis and as you plan to do, I send out helpful and informative packets like the client welcome packet to give my clients all the information they could possibly need. Well, I was starting to notice that I was consistently getting the same questions over and over and in my head, I'm like, my client shouldn't have these questions because I cover this in my welcome packet or my service guide or whatever the case may be. You know, the reason I spend so much time to create these packets is so I didn't have to spend extra time sending the same emails and answering the same questions for every single client that I work with throughout the month. And as you probably already know, Sending emails eats up a lot of time that we could be using to design or actually working with clients. So I needed some way to reduce the amount of hours I was doing just sending emails. So while brainstorming, I started to realize that while my packets of information were indeed informative, they were also pretty lengthy. And what do we usually do when we get a ton of information all at once? We usually start to skim through and see what's the most import important information and what can just be tossed to the side. So even though all of the answers were right there in plain sight, it wasn't optimal for my clients to read every single sentence in the packet. So they were quickly scrolling through and looking for those bite-sized, really important information and completely skipping the rest. So to solve this problem... I needed a short, condensed version of my welcome packet that still held all of the information that my previous welcome packet contained. I also needed to make it easy to navigate and all around less overwhelming to the eyes so my client could take their time to work through the packet and get all of their questions and concerns answered. So after making my packet interactive and adding internal links, which I'm gonna show you how to do today, I've seen a huge improvement on the retainment of information that my clients have, and I don't spend hours and hours answering the same questions in my email. And plus, it really does give a lasting first impression because it looks clean, it's professional, and it really shows an attention to detail. So with all of that being said, I'm gonna walk you through how exactly to get your new client welcome packet clickable and have your clients interactive within the file. Okay, so here we are on the template info packet guide, which should look familiar to you. So to get access to your files, just click on either the US letter or the A4 button. Um, they're the exact same files. The only difference is the size, which is dependent on your standard paper size from where you're from. So we click on this button and it'll redirect us to Canva. And I would suggest you being signed in first before doing this. And then all you have to do is select uh, use template and it'll take you to the files, the file template. So from here, you'll just go through and add all of your content for your welcome packet. So you'll wanna replace all of this filler text with your own text. And then you know, you'll just change the colors and add in your own photos and so on and so forth. Um, I did wanna mention that you can duplicate, um, delete or rearrange any of these pages to your heart's desire to create a packet that works for you and your business. Um, and with that being said, there are some pages that seem like they're being repeated, like um, this project, project description set of pages. And I wouldn't recommend moving these around too much if you want a seamless transition when we begin to add internal links to this. But everything else you can totally duplicate, edit, or rearrange to better accommodate your service that you're offering. Okay, so after all of your content is added and you're happy with the final design, you'll just head on up here to click on this downward arrow, select download, make sure PDF print is selected in this drop down menu, and then just hit download. And now that it's downloading, we're going to head on over to Adobe Acrobat DC to add in our eternal links. 
Okay, so you want to go ahead and open your new client welcome packet in Adobe Acrobat DC. And once you have it on there, you'll want to head on over to your right hand menu and select edit PDF. And if you don't have this in your menu, just head on over to tools up here and then you'll just find edit PDF and select open to open that application. And once you have the edit PDF opened, we're just gonna go to the page that we'd like to add the internal link. So for our example, I'm gonna scroll down to our project description page. There we go. And we're gonna want to make this table clickable, meaning whenever your client clicks on these tabs, they'll be redirected to that specific piece of information. So let's take our plan and add an internal link. So you wanna come up here where it says link, click on it and then select add slash edit web or document link. And then your cursor is gonna turn into um, a, a plus sign and you're just gonna click and drag your cursor over the word or the icon or graphic or whatever you wanna make um, a link for. And you're gonna just release it and a prompt will pop up. So you wanna make sure that you have invisible rectangle selected because you don't want your client to actually see the box for the link. And then you wanna make sure that you have go to a page view selected and then you're gonna hit next. Now, while this prompt is still up on your screen, you're gonna to want to scroll to the page that you want your link to be redirected to. So in my case, I'm gonna scroll down once because this page correlates to the tab I'm adding the link to. And so then we're just gonna select set link. And to see if it worked, we're just gonna head on over here and select the cursor icon. And we're gonna click wherever we added the link box and it's going to redirect us to that page. So let's go ahead and add another one. So I'm going to scroll back up here and let's do a link for strategy. So we're just going to come up here to link, add slash edit web or document link. And we're going to drag and drop a box over strategy, invisible rectangle, go to a page view, next. And now we're gonna scroll two pages down because this page matches with the tab we're adding a link to. And then we're gonna select set link cursor to make sure that it's worked and it does. So you'll just go through and add internal links to everything you'd like to add them to and you'll end up with results like this where they can just click and the information will be right there for them. So I've specifically designed this particular template to have multiple options of interactiveness, such as this table that I just showed you, and also this little box down here, which you can have redirect back to the table of content so your clients can easily navigate through the packet without having to scroll a ton of times. And of course you can change the color of this box and move it around to an orientation that makes sense for you um, or for that particular page or leave it as is, it's completely up to you. But you would follow the same exact steps to make this icon clickable as we did in the example. So just to give you a preview, it'll go back to the table of contents and you can make each of these clickable as well. There's also a section later on in the packet, important dates. We'll just scroll to that right here. Um, and you can make each of these weekly boxes clickable so they can navigate to a specific week um, to know which day, so your clients can know which days they need to be aware of and so on and so forth. You can make absolutely anything into a link on your template that you'd like. It's completely customizable to you and your needs, is, which is what I love so much about this. And yeah, that's basically it. You'll just have to go through and add links to everything, which you may find to be a bit tedious, but trust me, I took the time to do this once and added all of my links and tested it. And now it's something I can send out over and over again because I've streamlined it to work for all of my clients. So the time it takes to add all of the links is totally worth it. 
So I really hope this helps you out in taking your client experience to the next level and sort of streamlining your client welcome process a bit to minimize your time answering emails back and forth. And as always, if you have any questions or concerns, you can always reach me on Etsy. My team and I usually get back fairly quickly. So just head on over there and we can chat. I hope you enjoy.